It's no April Fool's joke, although it might seem absurd. Russia, a country which has invaded its neighbour, is in charge of the body that is supposed to safeguard peace and security across the world this month, the UN Security Council. But this is UN protocol. Russia is one of the council's 15 members and the presidency of this global body uh, rotates between each of its members uh, from month to month. So this month, the month of April, it's Russia's turn. Now, last time Russia presided over the council was in February 2022 and that was when Putin over in Moscow announced what he called his special military operation right as diplomats here in New York were meeting for a council session on Ukraine. Now since then the council has been deadlocked, unable to stop the war. Uh, tens of thousands of people have died and Putin has been indicted by the International Criminal Court. Ukraine's ambassador said that Russia's council presidency really takes absurdity to a new level. The United States has called on Russia to conduct itself professionally this month. Uh, the US, Britain and France will likely express their disapproval uh, by sending lower level diplomats to council, ma council meetings this month. Now, uh, the monthly incumbent uh, gets to plan its own sessions and Russia has three on the agenda, one on April 10th about weapons agreements during which we expect it to criticise the United States supplying arms to Ukraine and later on this month Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov is expected uh, to come to New York uh, and chair two open debates on uh, multilateralism and the situation in the Middle East as well. The idea of Russia preaching about multilateralism might seem laughable to most of the other council members.